Hey everyone, it's Dre Higby again, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of what I created called Characters Personalities. And the first thing we're going to do is the Teletubbies. Now, if you watch some of the episodes through Season 1 all the way to maybe even the new series, you will see how these characters who might have maybe character personalities and maybe also changed throughout the years, but also stayed the same as well. So, here we go. Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky is the tallest Teletubby and also the most giggly out of all the other Teletubbies. He's very happy all the time, always giggling. Sometimes he can be a little bit shy, but sometimes he can be very funny as well. Sometimes he can make mistakes and act clumsy, but that's the best character part about him. He always likes to explore new things and he really likes to dance, especially when he's in a skirt. And he's not afraid to he's not afraid to do things that are kinda of like what girls do, like wear a skirt or carry around a magic bag. Sometimes when they do a dance, he can get a little carried away or lose his focus. But that's the best thing about him. Tinky Winky spends most of his time with Poe, and Poe loves Tinky Winky very much. Sometimes if Tinky Winky feels a little confused or lost, Poe will be there to comfort him and tell him what to do next. In conclusion, Tinky Winky is a very sweet Teletubby who is fairly friendly and is always just very sweet and lovable. Dipsy Dipsy's character's personality is he mostly likes to play more cool. Dipsy wears a hat and likes to dance around a lot. Sometimes Dipsy likes to walk alone in Teletubby land. While he does like to walk alone sometimes, he still likes to be with his friends. Dipsy hangs around with Lala most of the time, and Lala takes especially good care with Dipsy. Just like Tinky Winky, if Dipsy feels a little puzzled or confused, Lala would be there to comfort him and tell him what to do next. Lala is a very good friend to Dipsy, rather if he lost his hat, she finds it and gives it back to him, even if she has to go all around Teletubby land to look for him. And Lala is just a sweet friend to Dipsy. Dipsy is not really the most bravest guy you ever meet. Whenever he feels a little nervous about something, he would always run away. And Lala would be the one who has to tell Dipsy to have some courage. While Dipsy is just a laid back more of a guy, he's also a very sweet Teletubby as well, just like Tinky Winky. Lala Lala is probably the most sweetest and most nicest Teletubby of them all. She really cares about each and every one of them and take, care, take really good care of them. She's also probably the only Teletubby who sometimes gets a little annoyed by things. Like, sometimes if a voice trumpet is annoying her, or if somebody is being too loud, or if she lost her ball somewhere, she will always say, Bibbly Cheese, if she's annoyed. And sometimes she would kind of want things to be a little bit of her way. If things don't really go much of her way, she would always go, No! She'll probably be the most upset out of all of them. If things don't go her way, like if the boy's trumpet goes away or if it's time for Tubby Bye Bye, she'd probably be the most one who would get most disappointed. Lala also thinks that she's a very good singer as well. Sometimes she would, she would sing for the other Teletubbies, and while sometimes they enjoy her singing, other times they would get a little annoyed by it and even run away from it. However, I think Lala's singing is more better than her playing a guitar. Seriously, in one episode, she plays a guitar and she needs lessons. Lala spent most of her time with Dipsy, and this is just my opinion, but I think Lala has a crush on Dipsy, which is kind of weird because I thought the Teletubbies were brothers and sisters. Mm, I don't know, maybe. Lala is the one who mostly takes care of Dipsy, makes sure he's not so confused, and mostly just be there as a friend for him, to comfort him. In conclusion, Lala is a very sweet and a very friendly Teletubby, and she's a friend to everyone. Poe Poe is the littlest Teletubby of all, and she's also a Chinese Teletubby, and that's why her name is Poe. Poe is a very sweet Teletubby, and also the very most bravest Teletubby of them all. Like, she's not really afraid of anything. She's not even afraid of a spider. Because what she does is she scares the spider away by doing kung fu moves. Sometimes Poe would say some things in Chinese. Like when she says, Ya ni sa, that's actually Chinese for one, two, three. 
or when she goes, Pate, pate, ba, ba, ba. That stands for faster, faster, faster. Poe is also the one that is full of energy out of all of them. Like, when it's time to take a nap, she won't be tired. She just wants to play some more and have some fun. But the others would want to go to sleep, so sometimes Poe would just pout about that. And sometimes Poe can be a little bit of a troublemaker. Like, when she says she's going to be quiet because the others want some quiet time, she'll really just make a bunch of noise. Or, if she's eating tubby custard and got some on her hand or paw or whatever, she'll put, it all, she'll put her fingerprints all over the dome. But she's also a very sweet Teletubby, especially when she's around Tinky Winky. She knows that Tinky Winky can have a little bit of problems when getting focused or if he makes a mistake, and she's always there to comfort him and to let him know what to do next. So, in conclusion, Poe is also a very sweet Teletubby. She's full of energy, she's very good Chinese, and she's also a very cute Teletubby. And those are all the Teletubby characters' personalities. Do you guys agree with me? It's okay if you don't. Opinions are opinions. But leave a comment down below of what you think. And thanks for watching.